Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. In this video, we're going to cover how to calculate your general circuit calculations. Now, these type questions fall into two different scenarios. One, they're going to ask you the minimum required 20 amp branch circuits. And then the other one that looks almost identical is when they ask you the minimum required general branch circuits for a specific size home. We're going to look at these piece by piece and we're going to break them down one at a time. At a minimum, how many 20 amp branch circuits are required for a dwelling unit? Now this is asking a very specific question. There is a code minimum of 20 amp branch circuits that are required in every dwelling unit. The correct answer to this is five. It's going to include our two small appliance circuits, our bathroom circuit, our laundry circuit, and our garage circuit. Now this is not to be confused with the type questions that are asking the, about general or lighting or receptacle circuits. These are the code minimum of the required 20 amp branch circuits in a dwelling. And the answer is five. Great job. At a minimum, how many 20 amp general branch circuits are required for a 2700 square foot home? Now your question may not say general, it may say for lighting and receptacles, you can keep an eye out for that. But usually if they give you the square feet, that's gonna be the red flag for me, that I'm calculating the general branch circuits. So how we're gonna do this one, it's very simple, we're gonna do it one step at a time. The first step is to take our 2700 square feet and multiply it by three VAs per square foot, like we've learned previously in the program. That's going to end up with 8,100 VAs. Now what we have to do, because this is our general lighting, those are all going to be 120 volt circuits. So I'm going to take that 8,100 and divide it by that 120 volts. And that's going to give us 67.5 amps. I'm converting it over to amps. Then we're going to take that and divide it by whatever size branch circuit that we are going to be installing. In this case, they want to run 20 amp circuits, and that's okay. Here we go, we take our 67.5 divided by 20. That lets you know at a minimum for this home, you must have 3.375 circuits, and we're always going to round up because you can't have a piece of a circuit. So the correct answer would be four for this home. Now these are not to be confused with the five required ones. This is if someone wanted to continue to wire their home for their general lighting and receptacles with 12 gauge wire, they'd be allowed to put them on 20 amp circuits at that point, and this is how we would calculate it. And now let's do a 15 amp version. At a minimum, how many 15 amp general branch circuits are required for a 2700 square foot home? The first thing we're going to do is take our 2700 and multiply it by 3 VAs per square foot. Then we're going to take that and divide it by 120, which is our circuit voltage. Then we take that remainder there and divide it by the size circuit, and in this case it's 15 amps. It's going to equal 4.5, and we're going to always round up to 5. Now there are other ways to calculate this, but for me this is the simplest and one that works every time. And that's what I always want to be able to give to you, one to me that is the simplest and one that works every single time. You can head over to electricalexamcoach.com for more exam prep like this. Let's get to it.